We are officially going 20 miles per hour exactly on cruise control. And dude, this looks, tell me that doesn't look sexual. It looks nice. So yeah, at 20 miles per hour, it's great. But from what I read, 20 miles per hour is the maximum speed that it will track. It's like 20 and some change, something like that. So should I uh, try to go like 30, see what happens? All right, let's see. I'm now going up, I'm gonna turn off cruise control. We're still going about 25 now, 25. He's doing a great job. We're gonna go up a little bit, almost at 30. Okay, we're just about at 30. Yeah, we're at 30. I'm scared it's gonna, oh God. Please don't hit that tree. Oh God. All right, we're set again. Now it's kind of like in the middle of the road. It shouldn't hit any trees. And it's not that it was gonna hit a tree. It was that the new uh, four sensors in it kind of picked out that, okay, you got a tree and it's kind of close. So I'm just not gonna drive or fly or whatever. Um, it's doing a good job now. I like that. I liked it. The battery drains so quick, I feel like. I mean, I still get like 20 to 30 minutes out of the battery, but you know, I don't want to pay a hundred and something dollars a pop for a battery, you know? Uh, we're at 37%. It's soon going to get to that point where it's going to consider it to be a low battery and it's not going to let you do these intelligent features. That's what they call it, not my words. All right, so this is where it's going to get weird. Show them this, Tom. Like, I don't know how low the dro drone is, but it might stop in a second. It might be like, oh my God, I can't do this. It's doing a good job. Okay, it sees it. Okay. Yep. I'm not gonna lie, guys, this scares me. Tom knows I've never done anything like this. I'm, I'm very careful with the drone and to kind of just be in the car while it's up in the air really scares the shit out of me. All right, so now we're at a higher altitude, I guess. Uh, and it's doing a good job so far tracking. It's a lot smaller, and normally it says subject's too small, and it, trust me, it's very small, and uh, it's still following, and it's almost like my car blends into the road, which is, you would think it would be an issue, and it's not. I'm going about 22 miles an hour here, we gotta stop at a stop sign though, you know. Obey the law, okay? Wow, this is beautiful. Uh, low battery. All right, so since it's low battery and we're at like an open road, we're gonna try this out here. I'm gonna go fast-ish and see how it does. It's still following. Okay, I'm gonna slow down because it is a low battery. That looks sick. It Okay, it's starting to lose it, but I'm slowing down so it should catch up. Oh my God, it's still on it. Okay, now that is great. We have not had good results like that before, right, Tom? Nope, not at all. Like, it would stop at like 35, be like, oh God, I can't hold yeah. it. Yeah. Like, I'm not doing anything right now, and it's it's doing its thing. I'm gonna pull over to the side here. I probably am not allowed to do it. No, not at all. Just come here. So, that's it for this video. We were able to try Active Track because I think it was a pretty good test, especially driving around with it. I really enjoyed doing this. If you guys want to see more drone videos, let me know and I will do it. And then maybe I'll invest more money into like getting batteries and stuff. But I had a great time. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you want to see more. Like I said, leave a like, comment. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, I'm Matt Philly. You're not going to my face. Have a great day. I'll catch you on the flippity flop. And hello to this car. Hi. Bye. <laughs>